Don, you talk about how Ernie made it to the National Football League, but his real success came after football with Art. Can you tell us a little bit how Art became what we know him from? Well, he he, uh, he went to to college on a football scholarship, and um, you know, and he, he wasn't a great great football player, but he was a good football player. Um, but you know, Art always remained in his heart, so he stopped playing football and he stopped playing track for a while and he just focused his time in the art studio um, and learning all of the techniques about art. Um, and actually when he, when he, you know, after he left college, he planned on um, starting an art career. But the, the American League football, the American League was knocking at the door. He got a chance to play for the Baltimore Colts. He thought that playing football would make him a rich man. And so he played five seasons in the in the football leagues. But again, art was never in his heart. And so he quit playing football and he painted what he loved, which was the images of the African-American people in his community. And he called those paintings the beauty of the ghetto. Mm -hmm. And one of those paintings went on to, um, to be shown during my favorite television show, good times. Mm -hmm. In the 1970s, there weren't mm -hmm. a lot of television shows that featured people who looked like me. So I loved watching good times. Mm -hmm. No matter what was going on in this family, JJ was always in the background painting pictures. Mm -hmm. And at the time, I thought that JJ was actually painting those pictures of beautiful, elongated, graceful African American people. And it wasn't until many years later that I learned that Ernie Barnes was the artist who painted those pictures. And Ernie Barnes inspired so many other illustrators like me to go into the arts. And so I thought he is someone who young people need to know about and familiarize themselves with his artwork. 